As you can see guys, the time of the year has come. Tonight it was the first time it was snowing this year and the tough time for Gwen is coming. Gwen is still home, preparing herself for the first winter days and me as a man I'm always going first to prepare this. Cars are covered in the snow so let's start it up, clean it up, warm it up a little and let's bring Gwen to her work. Hey guys, it's winter again! First ever snow today. Last night, I mean. <sighs> it's very nice. It looks so nice, but good luck for the <laughs> cold weather. <laughs> it's not too cold right now. <sighs> We will see what will happen later because Kuba hasn't changed his tire yet. It's still a summer tire and is sending me to school and is going back to the village. So I will be commuting later by train because Kuba can't wait to go home. <laughs> Here's his scraper. The power of chinelas. I forgot to bring my gloves because I will be making snowman later with our kids. With my kids. I forgot to bring it. Jacob is a winter proof person. He doesn't even feel cold. I'm already wearing so many layers right now. Five layers on top, three layers in my pants. And him is just hoodie and t-shirt. Immortal man. <laughs> We're gonna make our own ice bath. In right? The river. Yeah. And of course, you have two um seize the day that you are still here because if you are in the philippines you cannot do ice bathing anymore unless if you're gonna make your own ice from the refrigerator <laughs> there's no snow there i will go really slowly this time because it may sound like a very simple thing having summer tires in winter but it's really slippery it's a huge difference once you are having winter tires or summer tires yeah once I'm still with when I will be careful once I'm alone that's I'm that's very stupid from you you cannot drive recklessly drive responsibly <laughs> so show me how I don't know how to drive so I can show you that We've been practicing driving together with Gwen in the Louder. summer but Gwen has no experience on the snow so you have to try Yeah, I guess it would be nice because the car won't be broken like it won't have a like you know scratches because the snow is a protector <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm really envy of Jacob because he's been at home for almost a month now and I'm still going to work! Yeah, but how many weeks of that I was sick? Did yeah. I that as well? Yeah, he was sick as well for three weeks and that's why. So, I still have two weeks and three days left at school. But I want I don't I won't miss the job. The only people I'm gonna miss there are my kids. 
because whenever I'm just away for a few hours because sometimes I'm going to my dentist and when I came in the afternoon they're just gonna run to me and say Gvendi! Gvendi! They don't know how to pronounce my name <laughs> in, instead of Gwendi because that's my real name not Gwen they pronounce W or U as Gv Gv and all of them Gvendi! Where have you been Gvendi? and they're running to me so maybe if i'm not there anymore they're gonna ask about me every day i'm here um... you have to pass through that first see you tomorrow tomorrow so I just arrived from kinda little slippery way from Ostrava. You can really like notice the summer tires and winter tires. It's a huge difference. So I'm gonna change it now. So for those Two more months we are staying here in the Czech Republic, we will be having no issues with driving on the snow. I ended with the task much sooner than I expected because the issues came. Gwen bought me for Christmas last year like a case with the tools. She could get all these tools, it's a huge box with a different kind of tools for a very cheap price. And I was like surprised, how come it's very cheap? Now I know the answer <laughs> because the I was not even able to unscrew the first bolt on the wheel and the wrench breakdown. down. So the material is very poor, very weak, probably from China. So I'm gonna find some other tools and start again. This was you could see guys was the right example of when the five minutes job turn into one hour, two hour, one day because I put the car to the mechanic maybe in the May this year for changing the brakes and I don't know why he tightened the wheels so hard. A tip of you guys and other once you are changing tires or doing something with the tires and don't make it super tight with the huge leverages like the huge pipe I needed to unscrew the bolts of the car because there can happen accident you will snap your wheel you are having an extra in your trunk you will take it out but you will not be able to unscrew <laughs> the flat tire so keep with the correct torque 
or just hand tie on the wheels, keep checking it so you can avoid the things like that. I am done. We can move on to other things. Me and Wendy just started our adventure for sauerkraut and a glue. <laughs> Gwen needs a glue for some preparations to kindergarten. And my mother needs a sore crowd, so we are just walking to the city to get those. And what we are planning on the way back, we will jump to the river. No, I'm sick. I have fever. You have fever? Yeah. I cannot. Just right now you got fever? No, I had fever last night and you know it. I had... I think I had food poisoning because yesterday at school I was having stomach ache from the morning to evening and I was vomiting a lot at school and when I came home I had fever so I guess I had food poisoning or I don't know because <coughs> I ate the spaghetti at school hmm. That's bad we have to be careful what we are eating, what we are eating, make sure it's not spoiled. Or maybe the chicken that you prepared. I was eating the chicken and I was <laughs> fine. But the kids are fine too, so what's wrong with me? <coughs> yeah, the question is what's wrong with you? <laughs> because nothing is wrong still, so. with other people. But there is one question we received in the comment section in our last video for those who haven't seen that video here is the link so you will understand what's the video about and one and someone was asking when if she has this different mindset about like about Gwen is kind of a different filipino than other filipinos and someone was asking if you've been like this since ever or you changed your personality after coming to the Czech Republic mm -mm. Put that hat Why? Because you just said you have fever It's annoying, it's itchy So how is your personality? Is it true Gwen or is it just Gwen pretending? No, I am just like this ever since before we met, I grew up, I have a very savage personality Once for me it's not right, I'm really gonna fight for it In my opinion, I got this personality from my mom That's why a lot of people in my neighbors hate, hated my mom Because my mom always speaks through her mind She has a very bold personality And she's very honest and frank to people if other people are not doing it right, she's gonna tell them directly, right on their faces. And in my opinion, I got that personality from her. That's why <laughs> my siblings also sometimes hate me for who I am. And they're always telling me that I am Mercedita the second, because I am like my mom. And for me, it's just who I am. And it's not because I married with you or it's not because I came here in Europe I changed my mindset about how Filipinos are but it's, it's just who I am since then and this personality changed after I noticed the attitudes or behaviors of my neighbors that they were always hurting my mom and bullying my mom all the time and so I changed my mind and they're just nice in front of you but when you're not there they're gonna say something bad about you and that's what I don't like at all and it all started from there from the you know from the bullies that my mom receives from my neighbors and because of that I learned the hardest way that I don't want to be like them and I want to be different and I want to be unique and I don't want to be be like them as you know because we, we have this kind of trend in the Philippines or not even trend I think just how we are it's like 
we're gonna always go with people who is more influential and even if it's not right anymore they will support it and I don't like that way so just who I am you know me already ever since we met I mean since we met that I am different oh I know you but yeah people who are watching our videos don't know you <laughs> yeah and I don't know honestly guys I don't have close neighbors I only have one close best friend there because we are first degree cousin in my father's side and we were classmates since we were at the preschool so we are so close and we both agree about how toxic my neighbors are it's like neighbors there are full of insecurity or jealousness because of this crowd mentality in the Philippines that if you are getting something and they feel that they're gonna um, how to reach higher than them they're gonna get jealous and they're gonna try their best to pull you down and it's exactly the same like in the Czech Republic but I think in my opinion it's the worst there in the Philippines because the toxicity the toxicity of the people can really affect other people I know this is a personal um, story but my mom had brain injury and she passed away because of brain damage or brain cancer at the after a few months of brain damage because my neighbor hurt her physically and bumped her head to the stone in the river but just my mom forgave her because she was crying in front of my mom in the barangay office and asking for forgiveness but my mom was just you know mercy merciful person so she forgave her and after that incident six months later my mom passed away of brain cancer and everyone couldn't believe it because my mom was a very healthy woman very very healthy but just because of the physical injury my neighbor did she passed away that's one of the examples that's why I am bold and I always fight back because I experienced the bullies from the other people to my mom and that's something that I don't want to fake my personality if I don't like them I will never like them Yeah, that's why I say that I am really, you know, scared when we go there because the neighborhood, the people are very toxic. That's it. Well said. You can notice that guys, once someone is different or doing something better, or something special people will be interested in that person people will talk about that person behind the back hating that person being jealous and it mustn't stop you from doing what you are doing if it's not something wrong of course okay. what do you want to speak more? yeah it's just that I'm not generalizing all Filipinos are like this but in my opinion most toxic people there are women men are just cool i don't have any hates received from men there they're all nice to me but the women are just i don't know jealous of something and one of the examples when kuba went to my village he visited me for the first time when he came to the philippines my second degree cousin didn't talk to me ever again up until now after two years when she saw that i was with kuba it was so crazy because we crossed to we cross to each other and she's in the other side and the other side and I call her Ate but she didn't say anything and I was so surprised about like what what what's 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 wrong I did like did I do something wrong to her because she didn't talk to me and she was just not to me and I didn't do anything wrong she never talked to me ever again up until now and it's they really are yeah and it's really crazy the women there are I don't know jealous and they're always jealous of someone if they can see that this someone is better than them and one of those jealousness for example you were able to finish university and you were able to get something better that's something that they dream of but they cannot get it because I don't know maybe they just can't do it but because of that you were able to get it instead of them they're gonna jealous of that and they're gonna hate you for no reason 
and the women there are just you, something that you can't understand but the men are cool in my opinion men are fine but men also have this kind of different attitude because there are a lot of violence as well men versus men in my village before fighting with fists with something and a lot of fight with just one reason of just you look at this person eye to eye and they hated it and they're gonna punch you for that <laughs> So, I always tell Jacob, if you're going to look at someone there, please with a smile because some people just don't like someone who, uh, who has a very fierce face. They don't like it. Some Filipinos are like that. You have to smile. You have to give your smile all the time because some people just don't like it if you're just looking angry. And I know Cuba sometimes just look angry for just nothing like he's just like that and I'm scared for that but I always tell him and just be friendly just get along with them like even if you're not like that you have to maybe try your best or we have other option that we don't get along with them because that's me there in the village I don't get along with people there that's why I don't have close people because I just don't like fake people but I want him to have friends there but for me there are still good people where we can be friends with and we have to be choosy and careful who we will get along with and that's what I was telling him here <laughs> I talk a lot it's your turn <laughs> and there is actually one more question to discuss what's another one? <laughs> For example, imagine that I am in the relationship with a Filipina who is like looking for that foreigner husband to escape poverty, like that, like that, like that. We would get into the relationship, she would get to know me and then I will bring her to Europe, just like I did to you. But then she will find out, I will find the work for her, she will be living in the village, she will has to do a work around the house and she will realize that it's not really that easy life abroad as she thinks it is. Do you think that Filipina do you think that Filipina would stay? So do you think that Filipina would stay in the relationship with me when she will actually has to work hard and not just sitting and living a rich life as a housewife? Um, uh. <laughs> it's a very different question for me, but it's just that there are two people in this kind of situation. It depends on them. But, you know, there are also other Filipino who thinks that living abroad is easy life. It's like what they can see in the movie, that it's nice, it's very urbanized, and it's like just a life in the city, like maybe a life in New York, as what they think, that everything is just easy and fun. But some of them doesn't know that there are also side, other side of the world or other side in Europe, or maybe in US that we have to work as much as you have to you have to work with your hands so depends on which which are those filipinas you're going to marry with so there are people who expect that it's easy life and they don't want to work by hand because that's not what their expectation is so they won't like it and for sure they're gonna complain about it and maybe they're gonna go away from the relationship but they are also the Briden there are also other Filipina who have who are just resilient and maybe their expectation at first was different and with that they just love the person and they didn't care and they're just resilient and they just know how hard life is and they're okay with it if you understand my point I do but expect that there are people who doesn't like it and they're really gonna complain about it and they're gonna make fun of it because that's just how it is here even with Cuba when, when 
he went to the Philippines and I received a comment from someone I don't want to mention who is this person and this person asked me oh are you really sure with your boyfriend is he really like living a good life in your group what if he he's just fooling you and he's just a homeless guy in your group and maybe he's just working like a garbage man like just a garbage man like maybe if Cuba is working as a garbage man I don't care about it like those people are making money and they're working with dignity and why should I like be sh embarrassed about that and it's really crazy that they are just making fun of people who are working hard and for them if it's a lowly job it's a lowly job and it's not gonna be better than working in the office really and that's just how Filipino personality is and I hate about it I hate that kind of mindset and they think just Americans or maybe European people are living good life and they're just working in office and they don't know that work jobs in the Philippines and jobs here are just the same like some people have to work with their hands and some people are gonna work in the office and it's totally the same as wherever we are in the world and that's what they don't know about it because they can see that Europe and America is a very nice place it's there are snow and it looks good than the Philippines and for them just because it looks the place or the country looks better than the Philippines for them it's the life here is better mm -hmm. as well and also does that other thing people can only see what's shown on social media most of the time there are shown those nice things yeah but the reality is far away from that yeah and i showed gwen <laughs> that reality of europe and still she stayed yeah but i did not care if what kind of work or if you're working as whatever it is i did not care and imagine care. guys all my life i spent working like on the farms those hands were covered in cow's shit cow's pee oil dirt and i was still able <laughs> to get this wife yeah but because for me in life if you want to be successful and if you want to live a good life you have to work by hands you have to work hard just like me as well i work harder to get what i want in life I was able to finish university because I was working so hard by my hands and I know that money comes by hard work not money comes easily like if other people are doing it in an easy way I'm not gonna do that I mean not possible <laughs> you have to work hard to get it and we will surprise you with Gwen with one interesting thing don't look down on garbage men because the reality <laughs> of garbage men here in Czech Republic and I know also in Germany they are making quite good money yeah. they are getting quite the salary they have to sacrifice that working in with the garbage smelling horrible after they will come home but they can make quite yeah. good money as a garbage man yeah but whatever the job is they can just call this just a trust I mean some people are working with money and with dignity and that's one of the most important thing they're not working it illegally and no matter something what that they don't understand sometimes no matter what you are doing better to do something than nothing that's true that's what gwen says but except always with dignity with di dignity and should always be in the right way yeah. not in a bad way yeah no only fans and porn and all those things yeah. right <laughs> no yeah. i'm not now and with this <laughs> we will end i'm actually not gonna swim in the river today because i've been invited to sauna so i will go to sauna gwen is staying inside because she is sick and she still have ear troubles yeah i have <coughs> middle ear trouble because i blow my nose hardly and so the, the right uh, left ear is broken and last few months ago it was my right ear and now it's my left ear yeah. and of course i'm not gonna be with sauna with your friends they're boys and i will be naked no way yeah so i will finally enjoy some peaceful time alone <laughs> alone Gwen as well remember guys you don't have to spend 24 7 with your partner as your partner is saying to you right yeah because you want to be alone all the time you don't want to be with me Blah. and you have to find also Blah. time for yourself you want time for yourself all the time thank you guys for watching <laughs> and see you again next time bye